Okay, let's see. Okay, let's check this. Go into spectator mode. And let's All right, make sure we, we got everything working in up the here. game. Oh, this is a team two is only oh. is down about two players. Yeah. And um, hopefully the other two players for I don't I actually don't know which team is which because both of these players have both of these teams have some pretty high emo players. Yeah, it looks as though it's gonna be um, Benny on as team one with Quick Quill, Mr. Pro Sell Your Couch, uh, which is an amazing name and I'm absolutely in love with that. Uh, undiminished and uh, Phasex. I'm know. not exactly sure how to pronounce that. I'm gonna call him Phasen. Uh, fresh Ask choice. Him. Ask him. Yeah. <laughs> hey, how do you? I think it's Faxon actually. Faxon. Let's go with Faxon. Right, let's, right, let's not right. even ask. Let's not bother. Don't worry. It's they're, fine. They're, they're they have focused to as of right strategy, now. So yeah. <laughs> we have to keep this as. Yeah, open. but um, fresh choice. Um, mediocre restaurant. Mirage I'd have to say. Let's Bolt hope he does Ninja? better. Uh, looks like we're getting Patrick's. And Soda Pop's finally coming in now. And, um, and so it seems now like we we're ready to go. Yeah, it seems like we're ready to go. Let's see exactly how this is going to work out as a flying t shirt comes across the room. Let's, do you want, let's TV go take a look at each one of these players. Players, um. Yeah, well, we got some time up. So, Why not? XX Faxon with 68% win rate as Lucin. Like pretty, not pretty bad. Decent. Not bad. Pretty good. 60? Uh, 60 sixty percent on Vayne and sixty two percent on Grave. Okay. It seems like he'll be their AD player, just judging by their uh, by his most played champions. And mm -hmm. recent he's been playing Graves and Corky and we've got three uh, three very good A D characters. Yeah. Uh, Let's see exactly how this turns out. Let's go back to that. Our game is going to start soon, so Yeah, let's make sure. All right. As Funny soon as, as we give away these final couple t-shirts, we'll be yeah. all ready to go. We are busy with t-shirts. I wish we had a t-shirt cannon. I know. One of those. Uh, they're actually just uh, giant paintball guns. That's how they work. I and did not know that. I would love to have one of those and shoot one of them inside this That'd small be so room useful. and we hit people have really like hard and stuff like that. I don't think it would be legal. I think I might be uh, yeah. arrested for assault or something I'm sure of that matter. Fine. But don't worry. Eh, who cares? It's it's not too big of a deal. Yeah, to sure. Yeah. But um, <laughs> that's uh. Everyone here, uh, everyone in this game is Asian. Yes, that's. Here oh, we go. And the looks game is starting. Yeah, it looks as though we're about to start. Laughing this. too hard versus Benny. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Uh, which team can make it on top? Yeah, this let's. Time. I'm gonna. You know what? I'm going to take a very weird stance. I love the color purple, so I'm going to go with the purple team. Laughing too hard. I'm, Ooh, okay. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling some. I'm pretty sure I'll, I'll place my bets on blue team. They seem to have a little bit it, higher emo. I'm so. well aware of this, but I don't care. All right. I'm all just right, gonna, right. I'm gonna disregard facts, evidence, and go purple. All right. All right. That, that's that's how I'm gonna, I'm so gonna run this. The band and champions for this game are um. Blue team banned Alistar, which is a very common ban for his extraordinary ganky potential from the jungle. Mm -hmm. And they also banned Singe, which is a very unorthodox ban because although a very strong champion, he doesn't get picked all that often for some reason. I think he's pretty good, but... So definitely an underestimated uh, champion there. Yeah, for sure. But we're going to... Um, and the final ban is another ganking jungler, Nautilus. He has three... He has like four CCs. It's kind of ridiculous mm -hmm. how good he is at ganky. Yeah. While purple team banned Urgot, who's an incredibly annoying AD champion because he does a boatload of damage and he's incredibly tanky just by the way people build him. And um, the other ban is Twisted Fate, who's really strong because of his global ultimate, allowing him to have extraordinary ganky potential from mid. Final ban is Chen, who's just a ridiculous champion. <laughs> he can go from, he can lay in top, he can be in the jungle, and he can just go rescue your teammates anywhere because of his global ultimate, yeah, which so teleports him to like the other, like one of the champions, and mm -hmm. gives them like a 500 damage shield or something. It's pretty good. Oh, yeah, that's uh, definitely seems like some pretty good bans there for uh, laughing too hard. <laughs> Another way for me to uh, decide, you know, I'm gonna go with them. Good team. I'm, I'm, I'm picking them. As my um, 
Team O choice just because they're purple. Oh. Uh, seems like an incredibly useless pick, but eh, we'll go for it. Uh, first pick for blue team, uh, Team Benny, is Soraka. Uh, yeah. Very commonly picked support champion for his uh, great ability for a great ability to heal and just save teammates from any situation. Very, very common pick. Well, purple team have picked up Nocturne and Tark. Tark, a very aggressive support champion because of his stun and his and his pretty decent burst damage early game. While Nocturne is just a good jungler with his very long range ultimate, able to just gank in depth, just gank very well for the most part with his fear and as well as his as well as his speed boost thing. I forgot its name. All right, that sounds. Making everyone sound so incredibly, like, destructive. I know. And, and, and I, I, I have to think, aren't they all kind of like that? <laughs> There's some balance here, but as I said before, I'm a complete and utter scrub. I'll tell you exactly what's happening. I'm a perfect, great commentator. Perfect, perfect. First time, it's fine. Yes. Uh, so it looks as though um, Benny's starting to decide on their next two picks. Let's see what they go with here. And, Oh, yes. You are seeing uh, on your top right part of your screen, or bottom right, I'm not exactly sure where that is, um, you're seeing the team laughing too hard, which, come on now. They're all you know, Laughing too hard, that's a great team, and uh, let's hope, hope that they uh, pull something out, because they're purple, and who doesn't love purple? For sure, for sure. I'm mad enough to say purple is a cool killer. Huh? Foot kills purple too, dude. True. True. You don't know, man. I, I, I can't disagree with that, but what can you uh, enlighten me upon on these two picks by uh, Benny's team, um, Benny? Corky is a very played, very, very strong AD carry because he's really strong the whole game. Like, there's not a single point in the game where he's weak, unlike just like Champion, say, Tristana, who's really weak mid game, and Bane, who's weak early game. Corky is just solid the whole game, and even though he's he has kind of short range, he has um, incredible burst potential, and he's just able to kill anybody. Very strong AD carry. They picked up a Mumu, who has been seeing a lot of play recently, to be honest. He, he was really underutilized for a while, but people are just starting to pick up a Mumu again. Okay, sounds good. No, it's um, good. Purple team picked up Sona, uh, picked up Ari and Graves. Graves is pretty, is probably the most picked AD carry right now because he's just able to destroy. He's probably the strongest early game AD carry in the game because he has incredible burst damage right from the get go. He's really, really good. Especially with Tark. They're just able to destroy everything. While Ari, a very, very, very solid mid champion. He, she has incredible mobility. Great burst and just it's hard to beat her in lane to be honest because it's hard to gank her because her ultimate gives her three jumps. So blue team picking up Kennen for top lane, even though he can be played both top and mid, and rise mid. Both uh, Kennen is Kennen is an incredibly strong laner. They, he is able to just shoot shurikens from a distance and harass indefinitely. Because he has no mana, he has um, he has energy instead. Yep. While and their other pick was Rise, who was just he's been played a lot recently because people have figured out that he does a uh, incredible amount of damage as well as being a a very good laner. Yeah, and it looks as though uh, Laughing Duard has just picked their last player, and it seems as though we would be set unless something weird goes on. Laughing too hard have picked York as their top laner, who's probably the most annoying laner in the game. You can't really force him out of lane because he has. He he has and he has a lot of sustain, mm -hmm. meaning he heals himself, and yes. he also does a lot of damage with his um with his ghouls. Very good harass, Definitely. very powerful top laner. Yeah. So let's uh, looks as though five more seconds till we start this game. Oh, there's Time a counter. three minute set spectator delay. Oh I'm pretty goodness. sure. All right. Yeah. If you are here for the tournament, please do not use the computers on the floor. Um, go ahead and just spectate mm. in the back. Right now, I if actually if like if not, I like Benny's team a lot more in terms of a team composition right now, okay? because they have really, really, uh, really strong really AOE. While well, team uh, laughing so too hard, kind, I think they kind of picked to win their lanes, to be honest, because their team, their team synergy isn't nearly as good as team Benny's, who have two AO, have three AOE champions, Rise, 
four actually. Amumu, Rise, Kennen, and Corky. And they're just gonna be able to do very well in team fights if they don't get too behind during laning phase. While purple team, they have they have strong laners like Ari, Graves, York. But like during team fights, I don't really think they'll be able to do very much against the combined ultimates of Amugu and Kenny. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Let's okay. see. Um. Hmm. I think Tark and Graves won't be that effective against Corky and Soraka bot lane because Soraka will just be able to heal any damage that Graves dishes out on them unless they get. Uh, unless they catch Soraka, and because Soraka is an incredibly squishy champion, I think they would be able to defeat, uh, just like straight up kill her. Yeah. But as long as Soraka and Corky play very safe, they should be fine during laning phase. Yeah. Um, Kennen versus Yorick, I would give that to Yorick because Yorick is just. He's probably, I just, I already know he said this, but he's probably the best laner in the game. And not very many champions can beat him. And even though Kennen is ranged, Yorick will still be able to just spawn his ghouls on him and just deal massive damage to him. Alright. Um, Ari versus Ryze. Very, very, I don't really play mid lane, so I can't really comment, comment on that. But I feel that Ari beats Ryze in lane. I'm not sure. But I think she does, from what I remember. Okay. Anything about this that you would just think, why? What? I'm not exactly sure what I'm trying to say here, but what really seems shocking about these two unit compositions? Um, or champion compositions, I, I should say. I'm used to StarCraft. <laughs> I under, I really understand what um, team uh, Team Benny is going for in terms of their team composition. Just a massive AOE team fight team. They their team fighting is actually extraordinarily right, potent compared ready? to purple teams. And purple team is just, I, I'm, I think they're just trying to shut down blue team in lane, to be honest. And if it goes too even in lane, I'm pretty sure that blue team will be able to pull this one out pretty easily. Yeah. And the game is starting. So, uh, some League of Legends action here for you guys. Hopefully, there won't be any, any big technical difficulties. Yeah. No computers magically shutting off knocks on wood. You never know, man. Yep, you never, Anything never, can ever know. But, um, oh, all the computers are evenly as good. They all know it at exactly the same time. Yeah. Which is uh, nice to have, nice. And the game should be starting very, very soon. Mm hmm. Oh, you You're not exactly sure what's going on with that. Yeah, uh, hit the Unfortunately, the game hasn't just started. Let's see if on the game. Has and there we started. go. Let's get this into the right perspective. Come on, come on, you. There it is. I couldn't find it. Fortunately, it's right there. I saw it. I saw it for a second. Yeah, it's down. There we go. All Finally, right. we're getting a nice little view on this. Welcome to Summoner's Rift. Alrighty. Move that over here. Having a little bit of that's good. Weird things going on here, but now we're Alright. And the game is starting with action right away as yeah. Team Laughing Too Hard started with a very aggressive jungle gang. And um oh. I've never done this before. 30 seconds into the spawn. And in response to that, Amumu has chosen to start red, uh, even though it seems like Team Laughing Too Hard is pulling out already. Uh, very good for them because Amumu is an extraordinarily blue reliant jungler. He'll run out of mana very quickly if he does not get that blue. And although, mm, although Team Laughing Too Hard could have gone for a blue steal, they'd rather just stay safe and stay in their own jungle instead. It, purple team has warded, uh, warded Amumu's blue, so they'll be able to tell when um, when he eventually does get that blue, and maybe they can do some counter juggling action when that happens. 
Moo Moo starting, starting his rates while Nocturne does his wolves. Uh, Moo Moo transitioning to red, same for Nocturne to his blue. So, um, let me explain this game to you in case you don't <laughs> yes, really know. Yes, I happening. am completely bewildered at what what my eyes are seeing. But yes, All right, continue. so there are three lanes in League of Legends: the top lane, mid lane, and bot lane. And in each different lane, there are very different roles for characters to play. In top lane, you typically see a lot of more tanky, bruiserish champions. Uh, by bruiser, I mean champions that are able to soak a lot of damage. Mid lane. Uh, is home for AP champions, bursty AP champions, who are able to do a lot of damage in a short period of time and build ability power. While bot lane usually is played by AD, uh, an AD carry, which uh, builds AD and scales extraordinarily well in the late game, and support. So while this ha so um, in each of the lanes there are three there are two, three towers guarding an inhibitor and once you and you try to kill your towers push the to the push to their bases inhibitors so that you'll spawn stronger minions that'll push to their nexus eventually and in order to win the game you just have to destroy the nexus. All right, simple enough. Um, but uh, you're gaining an early advantage on Kennen, just spamming his ghouls on top of him. He is really unable to do anything at this point because Yorick is just that kind of later. He's just he just spams his abilities and tries and doesn't let you do very much. While mid lane is Nocturne coming in for a level three gank. Yes, he, has, he hasn't even gotten his red yet and is trying to make something happen mid. Um, he just leaves because Rise has not overextended. Very very safe play for Rise. Well. <laughs> Manual care. Huh? Oh. All right, so we're having some minor bugs here, so we're getting some more better audio audio yeah, quality coming work. out. Hopefully. Very. Oh, I can't hear myself. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so the moon is coming in to top lane for a gank with double over. Cannon going extraordinarily aggressive on York. Moo bandage tossing to pull York, and he is able to get it. Oh, is he gonna be all. Oh! And it seems like Team Betty is able to get first blood undiminished onto Volt Ninja. Very, very solid play from quick kill and under minutes. Just going super heavily aggressive in the early four minutes of the game. Um, it seems like Team Benny is ahead by about 500 gold, just about how much, um, just about that kill worth of gold. Um, in mid lane, it seems like Ari is up. 5 CSR rise, nothing big, especially because the uh, lane is pushing towards him. So he, he should be able to farm pretty easily. This the pro is doing a good job. And while in bot, they're just passively aggressive, uh, passively farming. Doesn't seem like they can. Oh! Grace is going in on Corky, but I don't think they can do anything beyond that, especially because of the Soraka heals. Um, Nocturne doing his range, just farming his double because. Mumu does look to be counter play. However, it seems like nothing's gonna come out of that. Every lane is just passively farming. They aren't really trying to make any big plays right now. Especially bot lane. Graves pushing to his tower. Might be looking to be soon, but probably not. Oh, it does look like they're being especially good play because especially because they are they are currently just pushed away. There's not much they can do if they stay in anyway. Even though Kenny got that early kill onto York, he's still behind us. Yeah, so very surprising. I, I would think that he would be able to farm while York was dead, but it seems like he'd just be pretty soon after he got the kill. So, I think pretty, still pretty, very strong lane for York. Kenny's just getting denied right now. Down to 10 CS already. In mid lane, it's very even between Rise and uh, Oh, Rise chunking Ari. That was some crazy 
damage. Especially this room we all I wasn't expecting that much. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that much damage from Rise. Just going B, out of mana anyway, not much more he could do in lane. Or can Taraka be as well? Picking up that Berserker's Greaves and Doran's Blade for that powerful lane. Uh, while Graves opted to go for the double Dorans instead of getting the Zerker Greaves. Mumu currently holding the lane for Rise as he went B to get his tier, tier very early tier, 7 minute tier, able to just spam spells now and gain a lot more mana and we'll be able to do a lot more damage very soon. Rise is a champion that scales on mana as well as AP, so the more mana he gets, the more damage he'll do because he, his Q does 6.5% of his max mana while his W does 1.5%. Okay. So, Kenyon is getting extraordinarily denied by Yorick. He's almost double his CS right now. Kenyon can't really find much room to navigate around this lane. However, because the lane is pushing towards uh, Kennen now, he should be able to arm up well. But he's still extraordinarily behind, even after that early game. It seems like it just wasn't enough. Um, Graves is also destroying Corky and CS. Up, about, up like 10 right now, but it's pretty bad for this early phase of the game. It seems, it seems like... Uh, team Black and Two Hard is just making up that death difference in gold because they're exactly even right now. They're, they're just farming a lot that gold, especially because Ken and Ken are waiting for I don't know why they picked Ken and Ken for actually. Do you actually remember if they picked Ken and Ken for I can't remember off the top of my head. I want to say York was the last pick. Oh, okay. It wasn't, it wasn't something that they were aware of and then they switched off. Uh, I, I think, if I remember correctly, someone's gonna pull up the tape and be like, You're wrong! You got that incorrect! But, um, I'm pretty sure, uh, that, uh, York was the final pick of the two teams, so... Oh, I missed that kill! Oh my god, I'm so bad! Alright, I'll just rewind this. Alright, so, uh, <laughs> Amumu landing a sick bandit toss and just ulting onto Grave. Matt, just shredding him! Oh, that was really, really good play by Mumu. Mumu's doing a lot of work this game, not gonna lie. That was... You didn't see? Alright, whatever, I don't care. I'll just, <laughs> I'll just go back to... Uh, Let's go back to standard time. time right now. And Nocturne donating blue to Ari. That was actually a really, really late blue for Ari. I don't know what's up with these jugglers, but that was two minutes right after their blue spot. I don't know why he opted right, to give it to him so late. Okay. And um, Amumu is now, I think, arrived. So, should be fine. So the lane should even out again. Ari would be able to spam her spells and push heavily into Rise because Rise doesn't really have very many pushing pools besides the ult. Besides his ult, and it seems like there are plumes going down on Dragon. I'm gonna have to pause you for one second. There's a dragon on the screen. That is awesome. Sorry. All right. All right. Continue. Let me tell you about the dragon. <laughs> all right. So the dragon is a global objective that teams find worth fighting for, and the reason for that is that it gives a lot of experience as well as global gold. So if you're able to pick that up, you should be able to build a pretty hefty advantage because it gives about 200 gold to each player on your team, which amounts to about a thousand gold. Yeah. It's something that a lot of teams find is important to fight for and are willing to even bring down their top player in order to contest it. So, Kenan is 47 CS to York's 81. So, yeah. even after that early kill for York, it seems it's just that York is just destroying Kenan right now. I don't know. Um, I really don't know what Kenan can do in this situation besides ask for more games. I think Rumu should be focused on top. Because it seems like mid is very, very even. They're neck and neck in CS. Rise exactly even as Ari right now. And bot lane is the same way. Corky was able to catch up and is up one kill. Even though he's, even though Graves is aggressive lane in this game. Mumu is it seems to be heading bot again. This is the bandage toss and it's unable to go on par. Uh, oh, York is 
Kennen tried to go on Yorick, but then Yorick just doesn't even care. He just sustains all the HP and adds up to the HP potions. It is Omen of Damage. Uh, I think Ari should be roaming a little bit more. Just I think because Ari is an incredibly potent King King champion, one of the strongest roamers in the game from mid lane. So it seems like a waste to just have her farm and not like gain any land, especially because oh, geez, geez, oh it seems like Nafu is trying to make some plays happen mid. Nothing's gonna come out of it. Umu is bottom. Can he land another mid? Crush them. Hmm. Oh, he shows himself a little bit too early and is unable to capitalize on anything. Nocturne is also heading bottom. Maybe trying to go for an ultimate gank with an arc stun. But Amumu is staying. I mean, they are aware of Nocturne's position. They might be able to go for a counter gank at this point. And Kennen is just still getting crushed off. I don't know. He should he should really not be down through his He's actually doing a little bit better than he was before, honestly. But it's still not. Kennen is gonna have to make up with this or with some monster team fight. Because Kennen's team fight is very, very open. And Yorick isn't as good unless he gets like uh, an extraordinarily fed AP, AP, AD carries ghost. What Yorick does is that he, he his ultimate is able to create a ghost of one of his one of his allies or himself, and that ghost is able to do anything the character can, like well, no skills, but just like auto attack. And uh, if that character dies, then he'll respawn and so he'll good his auto. Funky is doing work on Graves, even though he was behind her in the game. It seems like the lane really shifted in favor. Yeah. Off of Vampiric Scepter, then two Doran Slays. Nocturne is top actually, looking for a gank onto Kennen. Probably, they can probably dive him to be honest, because Kennen is really well. Really doesn't have his ultimate, doesn't have black, doesn't have anything. Oh, but Amumu senses something's up, and is just waiting for his dive. He might be able to turn the tides, especially because York is really low right now. Bot lane's just getting incredibly pushed right now. Not much. It seems like Ari is coming up for a Oh! Amumu with the sick land just turning the tides onto Yorick. And even though oh, Nocturne is able to get out, but that was some incredible play from Amumu. Just sensing exactly when the tower dive was going to happen. Going in and ultimating, turning the tides onto Yorick. And it seems like Ryze might be able to pick up the kill onto Nocturne. Amumu! Sniping Nocturne, this is Mumu is pretty sick, not yeah, gonna lie. Yeah, choice just getting dominated right there as he tries to uh, find Mumu his way is away. carrying Team Benny right now. This guy is, this guy's a beast. Yes, it's... Wow, that was Ari awesome. just farming mid, trying to push to his tower, doing whatever he can. But really unable to do anything. Yes. Wow. That was... That Laughing was... towards going to have to pull something magical out right now if they want to defend against They aren't that behind. They're, they're only they're behind 1.5k gold because York was just out farming him so hard. It seems like York was doing a good job at farming, but still I, I can't imagine that that was helpful. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that, they're uh, making really, really good plays right now. That especially I, I have to commend that Ubu. He's make, he's doing all Oh! I didn't even see that. Alright, we'll rewind a little bit. Yeah, just go back half I'm a second. I'm really good at commentating. Yes. <laughs> but uh, I think so much stuff is oh, going on right oh. now that... Soraka just face checks the brush, gets a stun to the face, and just gets blown up. That was really poor play from Soraka. She was unable to heal at all. Good mm -hmm. play by their bot lane though. And it seems like... It seems like Team Laughing Too Hard is going for the dragon. But I can't really do anything to many right now because Mumu just can't stop with her eyes. No one's even close to the dragon. Like, this is a pretty great dragon for King Nafu. Which will even up the gold in their favor. They're only behind 200 now, even with those Mumu ganks on the game Um. Let me 
Yeah, it seems like all the lanes are doing fairly easily. The only big difference uh, is Kenyon compared to York. York is 03 but has a thousand more gold in it. It's just a very bad matchup for Kenyon. In bot lane, they're just farming away. Not much they can really do either side right now because all of the ultimates are down for bot, so they can't really pull any any sick kills yet. It seems like they're going for a three-man gank onto Kenneth. Not sure if they'll, they'll pull anything off, especially Doctor. Go oh, Doctor going for the time. Ari faming her ult, and she's going in. Oh, good dive onto Kenneth, even with Ari's mismanagement. Rai is not, Rai is not calling the Mia, I guess? I don't know. Oh, it, oh, I thought Rai was gonna try to pull something onto Ari, but... And bot lane for T, laughing too hard is going back. Probably shopping, getting, getting a BF sword and a pickaxe. Graves is doing very strong. Let me see how much money Faxon has. Yeah, Faxon, they're pretty much dead even in gold right now. Oh, I thank you. Nothing happened though, so. <laughs> yeah. Yes. We are getting some assistance from the crowd right now, but, uh, yeah, they're. Yep, they're they, can't, they cannot be trusted. We were just holding top. York. Oh! <laughs> the crowd is not to be trusted. Yeah, these guys are trolls, though. Yes. Oh, Faxon putting out some pretty decent harass on the But, oh! Oh, Soraka just healed and there's nothing Graves could do. Even though Soraka's heal got nerfed recently, reducing the armor uh, duration by 2 seconds, she's still an incredibly strong support champion. Right now, Kennen is just trying to do whatever he can. I, he still hasn't been able to pull the lane in the game, even with those sick games. I feel kind of bad for him, he's just getting denied really hard. York is up like 60 CS. And Mumu giving the red to Gorky. Gorky should be able to do a lot of work during lane right now. This should be a lane. This should like swing the lane into Gorky's favor. Especially because they're even on items. Nocturne warning. Nothing so exciting happening. Nocturne could be heading bot? No, oh, never mind. And they're pinning on to Kennet. I wonder if they're gonna try to do something. They're now they aren't really pulling anything. They aren't trying to do anything, even though they're like it seems like they're getting um, calls for games. And they see Nocturne. Oh, Amumu is coming in for a mid game while Nocturne is coming for bot. I think they're both aware of it though. Because I know they were pinning off Nocturne earlier, and Ari is playing extraordinarily safe in the Lord in the Brush. Yeah, both teams are playing extraordinarily safe right now. Nothing either jungler can do at this point, except for maybe a dive bottom. Because Mumu can't, doesn't have very good game potential, he doesn't land his advantage, and right now Mumu is just sitting in that brush, wasting time. He is up the level of Nocturne, though, because of those good games. Yeah, you're just waiting there, nothing can hear Oh, Ari just revealed his position. Nocturne is... York is just... Waiting. I think he's going to hold on. Nocturne is still bot, but he's really just wasting his time. Like... Oh, they got the stun on to Bastion, but... Oh, Graves wasted his ultimate. That's pretty bad. Corky just got out of the sticky situation with Valkyrie. And top Kurt is almost dead. I'm pretty sure it'll fall within this. Oh! Dude! You guys have to tell me. <laughs> Alright. So, Rise is just doing ridiculous amounts of damage on the Ari. Chucking him for half her HP. So, what probably happened is he just did same thing again. And, oh! Flash! Good kill by Ryze. Good nice solo kill by, by Mr. Pro. <laughs> uh, oh, 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 oh. Uh, oh, 
Okay, nothing happened. They did kill Miz, though. Capitalizing with great effect on Horizon's kill. Oh, shit! Uh, bot lane is pushing, top lane is pushing, purple. And he is able to pick up the top turret. Mumu's coming though, they might be able to pull a kill off the York if he doesn't get out of there quick. Ryze is coming too, but it seems like York is playing pretty soon. He knows exactly what's going on. Nocturne is donating the Mumu to Ari. Very, very nice stuff. Uh, just going back to push mid. Oh, Dragon came up. Purple team is probably gonna go for that right away. Especially because all of, all of Team Caddy is out of position right now. They're unable. This seems like a free dragon. All of Team Caddy is being just right before Caddy. is pushing onto Dark Turret, but he'll probably get there before he's able to do any significant damage onto it. Corky is up 20 CS from over grade, which is pretty impressive considering he was really behind the floor. But it seems like the gold is still pretty exactly even on items right now. Wow, I didn't even notice. Ryze got ahead 30 CS onto Ari, even though they were dead even before. Ryze is just destroying Ari and Link right now. And just unable to do anything because of the massive damage on Ryze. Ryze is coming for a gank bot. Might be, might be willing to camp and rush, just to, even though all of the brushes are worn. I don't know if they'll be able to do anything. It seems like team, team laughing too hard. Is like, they are able to. Yeah, it looks like so that turret goes down. Let's see exactly what they can do here to try and stop this push. You can tell who's coming in. Oh, uh, they're going to gank up. And they're able to tower dive Kennen. Kennen is just getting destroyed right now. More bottom lane for Team Benny though. They pull the kill mid. They're pushing even harder. They might be able to get the second turret. With yeah. the with Patrick 69 and Mirage Spike just holding bot lane. Gets Team Benny. Yeah. Seems as though every single time a turret drops for one team. <laughs> Kind of drops from the other yeah. at the same time. Almost the exact same time. They'll probably be able to pick this up. They're exactly even on the turrets now. Yeah, one out of turret, one out of turret. Yep, every time it's just a nice little trade off. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Let's see if any of the, either of these teams can capitalize on those turrets being dropped. They got a lot of map control, but I think, um, I think Team Laughing Too Hard got the better end of the deal because middle turrets give a lot more map control than average turrets. And they're able to get a, they might be able to get a gank on them. They're diving back to them, Mumu has an ultimate, catching four of them. As Mumu is getting out, but they're diving even harder. Bolt Ninja might go down to the turret, and then the, although the ghost spots still have died. A nice one for zero trade, and, oh, that's still the ghost, that was nice. A very good one for zero trade by Team Benny, even though it seemed like they were, they were very behind. A lot yeah. of their characters are a lot lower, but they did get to kill off the whole thing, so. Yeah, it looks as though they might have been crushed there, but somehow they found a way out of it, and was able to kill York. Going a little bit too hard. Yes. Yeah, it seems, it seems like Team, uh, Team was laughing too hard. Actually managed to gain the gold, a little insignificant. This, this is good for them, as they were behind, uh, they were behind earlier. They managed to pull 1,000 gold. Back by my lane is pushed all the way. Sorry. Pop is pretty pushed. But Kenny will be pushed. A little bit of damage done to that blue turret, but not much at all. Yeah, exactly. And, uh, they were able to hold that off for a little bit of time. So they can do anything. It seems like Team, uh, team Benny is beginning to group. Actually, no. Kenan is still just farming. Kenan needs to get back. He's still behind like 70 CS on New York. He's going back to like. But Graves, Graves did push. Going mid. And it seems like there's. Well, it seems like something's gonna happen three minutes from now. So I'll just wait and see. Oh, they're able to kill a good Mario doing some good. Oh, 
Oh my god! Is ulting on the purple team, but it seems like they just she just doesn't have any damage. Team, team laughing too hard is just destroying this team fight. Oh, a move ulti, but I don't think they'll be able to do anything. Us Maxim does is able to graze and knock through both moves, but that was a very very good 2-0 trade for us. Just picking Rise off from off the get go with Mari's amazing taught skill. They might be they might be heading towards Baron, but I think that's a very risky idea considering nothing is going to And looks as though this turret the turret up top might go down. Let's see. I think York, nope. will, York will be able to save that. Looked as though there was a bigger force there for uh, Team Betty, although my eyes tricked me. Blue and purple, they're too close. Gosh, this should make it like red and green or something. I know, there's there has to be some differentiation, you know, red versus blue. Oh, no, man. I mean, it's, it's a great um, Machina Machina series. Why not put it in every game? Yeah, come on. And we yeah, should, you should tell this to Ryan. I think I think it's a good idea for us. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we can use color blind mode. I forgot what the colors are, but I know it's more different than purple. Yeah, it shouldn't be too hard to program. Come on. Ryan's. Oh, handing off the Ryan's Ryan's just kind of oh, the whole game. He's been doing so much work, even after that big off. Ari getting blue as well. Both AP carries have them in their possession even after winning is over. Is it pushing? Because Rai, Rai's actually, I don't think Rai's even needs to win. He has a huge mana pool right now. That's the thing he's going to see the R. I think that blue on Rai's after a while is just a waste. Because he really. Oh, and it seems like he's laughing too hard and going over there. This could be a very risky move, but it seems like Team Benny has no idea what's going on. They're killing it very fast, so they'll be able to go. They'll be able to save it this time. Quick kill, trying to go in for the ultimate. Oh! Running into the grave smoke screen, you can't see anything at all. This could have been a good fight for uh, Team Benny, though. Yeah, Team Benny. Instead, I think choosing to go after uh, the going in, mainly uh, in order to push the current because they know that team laughing too hard headed to top lane. They can't really do anything. But Soraka got caught by York. Able to flash out, but he's still heading towards. And it seems like Doctor is completely out of position. York, oh my god, this is a great fight for team. But it doesn't seem like it's enough. Team laughing too hard. Is Somehow destroying this AOE competition from Team Benny. I don't know. They they had everything going for that fight. Like, they had an Amuse ultimate on like three people. They had Kennen ultimate on all of them. They just weren't able to pull it out because Amuse doesn't do it up. Because Kennen doesn't do it up. Corky got soaked out from the fight by the R.A. immediately. And it seems like this is going to be a dragon take up from Team Laughing too hard. Now up on both kills and gold. Uh, by two on each, actually. Um, seems like it'll be very difficult now. We've got about 20 seconds before all of Team Benny's units or uh, champions come back into the fight. Yeah, so I'm gonna seems like a pretty bear. I still think that Team Benny has a much better late game composition, but it's just that they haven't gotten to that point because Kenny's so alive. Look at his items, yeah. The Hex Tech Revolver and the Abyssal Savage in the team. He pretty much does. His damage is very minimal, especially compared to York. He has a War Bomb. Um, pretty decently stacked, too. As well as a Mana Mune. He's just doing so much work. Especially, uh, especially Ghosting Graves, who already has his Infinity Engine Mana Dance with War. Yeah, York is just about the same as him. Yeah, well. York definitely trying being a major contributor for this team. Um, one of the most effective players for uh, laughing too hard what I can observe. <laughs> and um back to the a lot of free dragon, but yeah, even still. And that's, they should they should try not to fight with that goal. Yeah, it looks as though there's a pretty big fight happening in the middle of although uh you can't tell who that is up top they might be going to think that they're going after that turret. Seems so it'll drop unless someone magically teleports to the top of the map. Um, I don't know. Maybe. Let's see exactly what happens. Seems like Team Laughing Too Hard is grouping up. Yeah, going through the main. There's a few 
champion here for Team Benny. I'm not exactly how, not how uh, very confident right now in their ability to hold this off. Mm, they have pretty decent yeah. with Corky especially. Although Ryze and Ken don't really have very much AoE yeah, here unless they choose to or uh, waste their dash or their ultimate effective. Yeah, but if, if they can't kill off any of these champions, there's not going to be much to yeah, exactly. for them to really do if they're stuck in their base the entire game. It's just a matter of time for that to... Uh, I'm not going to do hard pull and swing block. They're probably going to take this turret as well as the second turret. They're yeah. probably just going to go for the outer turrets because they know they can't really do very much. Yeah, it seems like they're just trying to make the most of it. They can't really push these on it. And if they dive, they'll lose because they have the team of uh, any has this strong AoE composition. Look at this! Right now, Kennen is down 2,000 gold from the that I am not aware of, although I'm not that they, they need to League of Legends. Like yeah, they need to find some uh, champion for Team Laughing Jewel uh, off guard and just crush her or him um, before they even get a chance to do anything else. I don't know why they're all grouped up mid rank now. Like, although you can't even see anybody, nothing's happening. It's just like, they're playing this passively. How you should be able to play. I don't think this is how you should play if you're like if you're actually it's losing fights in this moment. Yeah, if, you're, if you're Team Benny, you really want to. I, I think you would really want to up the aggression right now. Uh, yeah, I think they should try to catch someone. Yeah, they're they're not going to win this game by playing incredibly passively, as you said. Um, well, they can because their team confidence is actually like. It's they really, they really can. Game, it's much much better to catch one of these champions off guard and then go for a push after that. They should try to do something with that effect. I don't know. Uh, they're grouping up mid again. They're actually grouping up top. They're trying to pin in top. Oh. Oh, it seems like one team won. Well, they're pushing down top tower. They're trying to. They're pushing down. And. And it seems like. Uh, 
and it seems like uh Hey guys, can I please ask you on both sides? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Team Benny is just on the back foot right now. Team laughing too hard is Team laughing too hard is just uh, take, grouping up and taking all of their props. Trying to make something happen. I think they're all grouped up bot and trying to clear as a team. While team laughing too hard is just grouping up. They're just grouping and they're able to get it seems like they'll be able to get a free baron. Because team laughing team Benny is just out of position right now. They're just shredding Baron right now. Um, they'll probably be able to get this for free. Team Benny doesn't even try to go to that Baron because of how it is. They just got it too fast. Laughing too hard is up 6k gold right now. They're off a pretty decent amount. They're going to, they're pretty dragged, but they decided to just push mid. And then it's out of position. Yeah, it's going to be very difficult, it seems, for Team Benny to hold this push if they decide to go all in. They're just pushing down mid right now. Oh, and they catch Kenneth with a sweet car. Team laughing too hard on full retreat right now. Yeah, Team Benny actually doing a big Oh, quick kill. Yeah, I mean, a good ultimate on the floor of that team laughing too hard. But Team laughing too hard is too behind at that point. But they were too far away from Tennis to capitalize on that point. And they're just able to destroy everybody. Team laughing too hard. Everybody is low, but no one is dead. That's the problem. They just, they traded more for none. And it seems like Team Laughing is too hard to just going to be able to Yeah, there's not much that uh, Team Benny is going to be able to do to stop this. As only one yeah. player is up for them. And yeah. they're probably just going to end it. Or it's, it's, going to it's the end of the game. There's nothing that uh, this team is going to be able to do. 15 seconds before anyone besides Corky even comes out to uh, do some damage. But it's yeah, going to be too late. Really yeah, that's the main goes down for Team Benny. And as always, as always, bet on purple, ride right on purple. Oh, you're right, my bad. I'm, I'm, Alright, I gotta play my game. So we're going to, uh, All right. let's see. Okay, Laughing Too Hard winning that match pretty handedly, I'll have to say. Team Laughing Too Hard just take the decisive victory. Over team, over team Benny. Next up, we will have Team Hades against Team Intrinsic. So, could the players please begin to set up their equipment on either side? And now, my and thank you guys for coming out to the Microsoft Store in Valley Fair. We would like to extend a extra so thank you to not only the Microsoft Store but also Steel Series as well as Astro and all of those other companies making it possible. For us to put on such an amazing event. Thank you very much, and we will see okay. you guys in a very, very, very short amount of time. <laughs> so I'm going to take one second and What's up? Um, plug our sponsors a little bit.